Okay, Alex, is there something like a Filipino-Canadian history? Yeah, well, definitely. Filipino-Canadian history is what we're writing right now, right? So Filipinos first arrived here in the 50s, uh, but not so many of us. Most of us came during the Marcos era, right? Uh, starting in the 70s into the 80s, uh, then increasing, increasing. And Filipino history in Canada really goes by the needs of Canada at the time. Uh, so during the 70s, Canada had had a much more open immigration policy because of the fact that Canadian, the Canadian economy was growing and they needed more bodies in Canada in order to build the Canadian economy. So when we first started coming here in the 70s, we would come as professionals. We would come as doctors, lawyers, uh, nurses, uh, professionals. In the 80s and 90s that starts to change because Canadian needs are different uh, to the point where today most the, Can the Filipinos that are coming here now, there's a large percentage who come as temporary workers. The one that most people know about is the LCP, the Living Caregiver Program. But that's actually not the majority. The major You have a lot of people coming in through the Farm Workers Program. You have a lot of Filipinos coming through the Manual Workers Program. Like I have a cousin that worked at McDonald's in Calgary, for example. Um, so there is a history of Filipinos in Canada, and the history of Filipinos in Canada is tied directly to the needs of Canada. Right? So that's one thing that we have to remember as Filipinos. We're brought here because of what Canada wants us to do. Right? And so th this is our history here. And uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Alex, thank you very much. Thank you.